I don't even know how to do my intro anymore because it's been so long. I know guys, I haven't uploaded in like two weeks and it kills me because I want to keep uploading stuff but the past two weeks I just got a little bit too busy I guess with my work since I've been traveling some lately. I have to like prepare all my work for that week that I'm gone so it's like I have to work double that week and I just work a lot and I just didn't really have a lot of time to shoot some YouTube videos which sucks I know I really did want to but I was just preparing for what was to come with my job since this isn't my job I have to focus on my real job first I guess but whatever I'm back with this video and you might have saw if you follow me on social media or anything that I was on a houseboat trip with all my friends in Lake Cumberland in Kentucky. Now I know what you're expecting. You're expecting me to have this awesome footage of this and guys, I don't have any footage from this trip that past week. This pa is actually this past week. I don't have any footage of it. I know. I know what you're thinking before you, before you click out of this video though, look at this this is a little <laughs> this is a souvenir that I got to keep from that houseboat trip before we get into the story yeah I know we didn't get any footage why didn't I get any footage of this I brought my whole bag of gear I brought every single piece of camera equipment I had I had two videos planned out for the trip I was gonna make but for some reason whenever the trip happened whenever I was with my friends it just didn't feel like a time to record stuff I guess I don't know I just didn't feel like I just felt like I should be present with all my friends on the boat and I felt like I should be present in the moment plus a lot of things happened on the boat that made me not want to record or anything so let's tell a little story about this thing that happened how in the world did I how in the world did this happen this clearly makes the boat this makes the boat go forward or backward or whatever. Why is this shattered and why is it in my hands? Well, beginning of story. We go on this houseboat trip. I'll throw in photos. I did take a lot of photos. I'll throw in some photos here in and out. I think I actually have one video clip maybe of the water. Here it is. Anyways, <laughs> I don't know why this is the only clip I have <laughs> and it's on my phone. Anyways, and it's vertical, whatever. Anyways, so we go on this trip. We rent a houseboat, me and nine other friends. So there's 10 of us total. We rent this boat down in Lake Cumberland, it's five hours away. It's an 80 foot houseboat. An 80 foot boat, that boat's not even, 80 feet is the maximum legal length for any vehicle to be on the road. So a very large semi, a very large vehicle on the road. But it's on water, which makes it even harder to drive. Anyways, they let anybody apparently drive these houseboats on this lake. You don't, I don't have to have any boat license. I don't have to have anything. The guy that showed me how to drive the boat when we got there, he explained how to drive this boat for less than 10 minutes. So I have less than 10 minutes of verbal training on this boat. And then we get sent out on the lake. Me having to drive this 80 foot boat that's like a kite in the water. Anyways, the first night happens, the next morning we cut, we, everybody gets up and we plan on going to a little island in this lake, because this lake's huge. So we go to this little island. Well, we start the engines, the right engine, there's two separate engines. The right engine is very hard to start, I was having a hard time starting it and getting it started. Well, I get the engine started and we kind of back away from the water, we're in this middle of this canal area, 80 foot houseboat in this canal that's off of the main lake. That's where we docked. And the right engine just turns off. No surprise, I guess, but the, that means the wind pushed us back on the shore. So we're up against the shore. The right engine is up against the shore. I'm trying to start it again. It's starting, but it's making a really loud, weird sound. So I have to radio the guy to come help us because I have no idea what the issue is. He comes. And he says, we destroyed the propeller, which is right here. So they have to come out and send another guy to fix it. Well, the guy comes out and fixes it pretty quickly. He says it happens all the time. But since the wind blew us up on the shore, the propeller, the right engine was up against the shore, the rocky shore. And that's whenever I was trying to start it, this propeller was hitting the rocks and it just shattered into pieces. Ow, shattered into pieces, I guess. Well, that's not the only thing that happens. 
30 minutes late, the guy gets us, fixes the propeller. He gets us out in the water, then he gets us, and then he gets on his little dinghy and says, well, good luck, sayonara. It's about to storm out. Winds are pushing really high. The water is higher than beach water on an ocean. Good luck. <laughs> and none of us on the boat have any boating experience. So we're like, okay. And we don't really know how to, how to do things properly. We go out, I find the island maybe 30 minutes later, and I go up slowly to the shore. I stop, I have two of my friends go up on the shore to tie us off. Well, since it's about to storm, the wind blows the entire boat away. <laughs> it's mind blowing thinking about this, looking back at it, why they let people, anybody drive these boats. Anyways. The wind blows us onto the next island, which is maybe a hundred feet away. And we get trapped on that island because our the bottom of the boat hits the ground underwater, there's maybe three feet of water, and we're stuck there. So my friends have to swim back to the shore. We're stuck on this bank, I guess. There's two islands and the bank connects them and there's three feet of water in the bank. We're stuck in the bank and our engines are like in this clay and it's just like, I realize at this point, this is a huge disaster. So we had to call the guys again. The guy comes about, ties his little dinghy up to the front of our boat and puts his boat in reverse. And he's just going like, Whoosh! with like water flying everywhere and our boat's not budging. And it's a disaster, honestly. Well, is it a disaster? It wasn't, it's not a disaster, but in my mind, I'm like, this is a disaster. We can't figure out how to drive this boat. I can't figure out how to drive this boat. So he leaves, he comes back, he does something else and he gets us out and he docks us at the island and that's where we stay for the rest of the time. And we had a great time after that. <laughs> Nothing wrong with, with driving the boat except the next morning our generator is something, something happens with our generator and we have to call the guy again. He comes out and fixes the generator. So we called, we called the people a lot on this boat trip, but overall it was super fun. And when I went out and checked out, they let me keep this thing as a souvenir because I wrecked this thing. That's the story of me driving an 80 foot houseboat with no boating experience at all. I don't know why they let people do that. Anyways, what am I going to do with this thing? It is a sick decoration piece. I'm going to turn it into a plant. This looks like a little pot and I'm gonna have a plant coming out and it's gonna be a cool decoration piece. So let's go make this into a pot. I hope this isn't an awkward setup or anything, but we got the propeller that is destroyed. We got the plant that I've chosen to be put inside of it. We got this little glass thing that's gonna go sit right on top. The plant is actually gonna fit in this glass thing. And we got this blue thing so it doesn't scratch the table. And I got this to uh, straighten this thing out. So, I guess the first step is to straighten this thing out. You can see right here that it's all like broken and stuff. Let's start straightening it out. Let me see what I can do here. Oh my, the thing still won't fit. Let's straighten it out. Oh God, some more. Oh no, freak. There. I don't exactly know what I'm doing. Basically, everything else in my life, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just going to do it until something <laughs> happens. That was probably the wrong mentality to have on the boat. <laughs> Anyways, boom. All right, this thing fits fine in there. I don't know if you can see it very well. Eh. <laughs> now, one quick disclaimer, I don't know what this is going to look like at the end. This might look really dumb or this might look really cool. We're going to find out. Now the next step is transporting this little plant. If anybody knows the name of this plant, let me know. I really don't know what the name of it is. Into this little bowl. So, I guess I have to murder. Guys, if all you plant lovers out there and you think I'm doing something wrong, I probably am doing something wrong. I have no idea what I'm doing. You're probably cringing at the fact of whatever I'm doing with this plant. Hopefully it even lives inside this thing. Oh my gosh, I'm killing this thing. Taking it out, now I have to jam it in there. Guys, I don't know if 
this is right. What do I do if it doesn't fit? <laughs> and I'm getting dirt literally everywhere. Okay, whoa! Ha, ha, I've actually made it fit inside the thing. I'm, I swear I've had to have killed it, but it fits. Now, I guess the deed is done. Let's go put it in this designated spot that I have cultivated for this plant to go in. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for waiting for so long for me to upload again. I am going on a cruise next week, so next week there might not be uploads. I'm not sure yet. We'll have to see, but I will record stuff on the cruise ship. I'm being accountable for this one. I'm saying it to you guys. I will make a video from the cruise. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you like this video, leave a like, subscribe, whatever. Guys, I'll catch you guys on Friday.